The 2023 budget is expected to restore macroeconomic stability under an IMF program for ISE, despite the current woes of the Ghanaian economy. The country seemed to have borrowed beyond its sustainable threshold with no buffer to absorb major shocks, hence putting a lot of pressure on next year's budget. ISE wants government to adopt some key measures, which include reducing the size of government. Professor Peter Korte is the director of the institute. Look at revenue growth, for instance, 46% growth in revenue. Uh, we have never done 20 or 25% growth. So what is new that now we are going to do 46% growth? Last year, we had similar uh, ambitious targets. We couldn't meet our revenue. You know, same thing we, we are doing this time. Then with expenditure itself, I mean, the growth in expenditure is also quite high. In the, um, an austere situation, you try and reduce your expenditure while you increase your income. Right? So there are some challenges with the budget. In the review, ISA proposes a relook at government's flagship programs and realign with its expenditure for fiscal consolidation. Education is taking 18 billion. Then, agri is taking 2.15 billion. Trade and industry. 0.587 billion. Why the huge disparity in spending? Why are we putting so much in education and not also putting so much in the critical or the productive sectors of the economy? A grid is key. In order to sign on to the IMF program and restore macro stability, ISA wants government to build consensus on the debt restructuring program.